molecular basis of inheritance. In the previous chapter, you have learned the inheritance pattern and the genetic basis of such pattern. At the time of Mendel, the nature of these factors regulating the pattern of inheritance was not clear. Over the next hundred years, the nature of the putative genetic materials was investigated, culminating in the realization that DNA deoxyribonucleic acid is the genetic material at least for the majority of the organism. In class 11, you have learned uh, that nucleic acid are polymer of nucleotide. Deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA and ribonucleic acid, RNA are two types of nucleic acid found in living system. DNA acts as the genetic material in most of the organism. RNA, through, though it also acts as the genetic material in some viruses. Mostly functions as a messenger. RNA has additional role as well. It functions as adapter, structural, and in some cases as a catalytic molecule. In class 11, you have already learned the structure of nucleotide and the way these monomer units are linked to form nucleic acid polymer. In this chapter, we are going to discuss the structure of DNA, its replication, the process of making RNA from DNA transcription, the genetic code that determines the sequence of amino acid in proteins, the process of protein synthesis, translation, and the elementary basis of, the, of their regulation, the determination of Complete nucleotide sequence of human genome during last decade has set in a new era of genomic. In the last section, the essential of human genome sequencing and its consequences will also be discussed. Let us begin our discussion by first understanding the structure of the most interesting molecule in the living system that is the DNA. In the subsequent section, we will understand that why it is the most abundant genetic material and what its relationship with RNA. The DNA. DNA is a long polymer of deoxyribonucleic acid nucleotide and deoxyribonucleotide. The length of DNA is usually defined as number of nucleotides or a pair of nucleotide referred uh, to as base pair present in it. This also is the characteristics of an organism for, for example, a bacteriophage known as 5 into 174 has 5, uh, 5386 nucleotides. Bacteriophage lam, lambda has 48502 base pair Bt. Hysteria coli has 4.6 Bt. And haploid content of human DNA is 3.3 into 10 to the 9 Bt. Let us discuss the structure of such a long polymer. Structure of polynucleotide chain. Let us recapitulate the chemical structure of a polynucleotide chain, DNA or RNA. A nucleotide has three components a nitrogen nash base, a pentose sugar ribo in case of RNA and deoxyribose for DNA and a phosphate group. There are two types of nitrogenous base, purines, adenine and guanine and pyramidines, cytosine, uracil and thiamine. Cytosine is common for both DNA and RNA and thiamine is present in DNA. Uracil is present in RNA at the place of thiamine. The nitrogenous base is linked to the OH of 1-C pentose sugar through a N-glycosidic linkage to form a nucleoside such as adenosine or deoxyadenosine, guanosine or deoxyguanosine, cytocytidine or deoxycytidine and urodine or deoxythiamidine. When a phosphate group is linked to OH 
of 5 dash C of a nucleoside through first, uh, first western linkage. The corresponding nucleotide or deoxynucleotide depending upon the type of sugar present which form. Two nucleosides are linked to 3 dash 5 dash phospho diester linkage to form a dinucleotide. More nucleotides can be joined in such a manner to form a polynucleotide chain. A polymer thus form, formed has a, at one end a free Password moiety at 5 dash end of sugar, which is referred to as 5 dash end of polynucleotide chain. Similarly, at other end of the polymer, the sugar has a free weight of 3 dash C probe, which is referred to as 3 dash end of the polynucleotide chain. The backbone of a polynucleotide chain is formed due to sugar and phosphate. The nitrogenous base this is linked to sugar moiety project from the backbone. In RNA, every nucleotide residue has an additional wedge group present at 2 dash position in the rivals. Also in RNA, the uracil is found at the place of thiamine 5 methyl uracil, another chemical name for thiamine. DNA as an acidic substance present in nucleus was first identified by Frederick Mischer in 1869. He named as nuclein. However, due to technical limitation in isolating such a long polymer intact, the elucidation of structure of DNA remained elusive for a very long period of time. It was only in 1953 that James Watson and Francis Crick, based on the X-ray diffraction data produced by Maurice Wilkins and Rosa Lind Fangley, proposed a very simple but famous double helix model for the structure of DNA. One of the hallmarks of, the, of their proposition was based pairing between two strands of polynucleotide chain. However, this proposition was also based on the observation of Erin Chardaff that for a double standard DNA, the ratio between adenine and thiamine and gunain and cytosine are constant and equal one. The base pairing confers a very unique property to the polynucleotide chains. They are said to be complementary to each other and therefore if the sequence of bases in one strand is known then the sequence in other strand can be predicted. Also if each strand from a DNA, let us call it as a parental DNA, act as a template for synthesis of a new strand. The two double stranded DNA let us call them as daughter DNA. Thus, produced would be identical to the parental DNA molecule. Because of this, the genetic implication of the structure of DNA become very clear. The salient feature of the double helix structure of DNA are as follows. One, it is made of two polynucleotide chain where the backbone is continued, constituted by a sugar phosphate and the base project inside. Two, the two, the two chain have antiviral polarity. It means if one chain has the polarity 5 dash to 3 dash, the other has 3 dash to 5 dash. 3. The bases in two strands are paired through hydrogen bond, H bond forming base pair. Adenine forms two hydrogen bonds with thiamine from opposite strands and vice versa. Similarly, 
Bunain is bounded with cytosine with C H bond. As a result, always a purine comes opposite to a pure moiety. This generates approximately uniform distance between the two strands of the helix. For the two chain are coiled in a right-handed fashion. The speech of the helix is 3.4 nanometer. Nanometer is one billion or a billionth of a meter. That is 10 to the nine minus nine meter. And there are roughly 10 BP in each. Turn. Secondly, consequently, the distance between a BP in a helix is approximately 0.34 nanometer. Five. The plan. The plane of one base pair stab over the other in double helix. This, in addition to H bond, confers stability of the helical structure. Compare the structure of purinines and purimidines. Can you find out why the distance between two polynucleotide chains in DNA remain almost constant? The proposition of a double helix structure of DNA and its simplicity in explaining the genetic implication became revolutionary. Very soon, Francis Crick proposed the simple dogma in molecular biology, which states that the genetic information flow from DNA RNA protein. In some Viruses, the flow of information is in reverse direction that is from RNA to DNA. Can you suggest a simple name of this process? Packaging of DNA helix. Taking the distance between two conjugative base pair as 0.34 nanometer, the length of DNA double helix in a typical Mammalian cell is calculated simply by multiplying the total number of BP with the distance between two conjugate BP. That is 6.6 into 10 to the 9 BP into 0.34 into 10 to the minus 9 meter by per BP. It comes out to be approximately 2.2 meter. The length that is far greater than the dimension of a typical nucleus approximately 10 to the minus 6 meter. How is such a long polymer package in a cell? If the length of E. coli DNA is 1.36, can you calculate the number of base pair in E. coli? In prokaryotes such as E. coli, though they do not have a defined nucleus, the DNA is not scattered throughout the cell. DNA being negatively charged is held with some protein that have positive charge in a region termed as nucleoid. The DNA is nucleated is organized in large loops held by protein. In eukaryotes, this organization is much more complex. There is a set of positively charged basic protein called histone. The protein acquires charge depending upon the abundance of amino acid residue with charge side chains. Histones are rich in the basic amino acid residue lysine and arginine. Both the amino acid residues carry positive charges in their side chain. Histones are organized to form a unit of eight molecules called histone octomer. The negatively charged DNA is wrapped around the positively charged histone octomere to form a structure called nucleosum. A typical nucleosum contains 200 BP of DNA helix. Nucleosum constitutes the repeating unit of a structure in the nucleus called chromatin. Thread 
light stain colored bodies seen in nuclei the nuclear young in chromatin are seen as dead on steam structure when viewed under electron microscope in theoretically how many such bits nucleosome do you imagine are present in a melanoman cell the bead on steam structure in chromatin is packed packaged to form chromatin fibers that are further coiled and condensed at metaphase stage or cell division to form chromosome the packaging of chromatin at higher level requires additional set of protein that collectively are referred to as non histone chromosomal nhc proteins in a typical nuclear some region of chromatin are loosely packed and stain like and are referred to as in chromatin the chromatin that is more densely packed and stain dark are called the heterochromatin in chromatin is said to be transcriptionally active chromatin whereas heterochromatin is inactive the search for genetic materials even though the discovery of nuclein by mischer and the proposition for principle of inheritance by mendel were almost at the same time but that the dna act as genetic material took long to be discovered and proven by 1926 the quest to determine the mechanism for genetic inheritance had reached the molecular level previous discoveries by gregor mendel walter sutton thomas hunt morgan and numerous other scientists had narrowed the search to be search to the chromosome located in the nucleus of the most cells but questions of what molecule was actually the genetic material had not been answered transforming principle in 1928 frederick griffith in a series of experiment with streptococcus pneumonia bacterium responsible for pneumonia witnessed a miraculous transformation in the bacteria during the course of his experiment a living organism bacteria had changed in physical form when streptococcus pneumonia bacteria are grown on a culture plate some produce smooth shiny colonies as while other produce rough colonies are this is because of the yeast strain bacteria have a mucus polysaccharide coat while our strain does not mice infected with the a strains virulent die from pneumonia infection but mice infected with the r strain do not develop pneumonia a strain injected into mice mice dies r strain injected into mice mice lies griffith was able to kill bacteria by heating them he observed that heat kills a strain bacteria injected into the mice did not kill them when he a strain heat kill injected into mice mice live a strain heat kill plus r strain live injected into mice mice dies injected a mixture of heat killed a and live r bacteria the mice died moreover the recover living age bacteria from the dead mice he concluded that the r strain bacteria had somehow been transformed by the heat kill a strain bacteria some transforming principle transferred from the heat kill a strain had enabled the r strain to synthesize a smooth polysaccharide coat and become virulent this must be due to the transfer of the genetic material however the biochemical nature of genetic material was not defined from his experiment biochemical character characterization of transforming principle prior to the work of oswald avery colin magloed and maclean mccarty 1933 to 44 the genetic material was thought to be a protein they were to determine the biochemical nature of transforming principle in a griffith experiment 
they purify it biochemical protein dna rna set of form the heat kill a cell to she which one could transform live r cell into a cell they discovered the dna alone from s bacteria caused r bacteria to become transformed they also discovered that protein digesting enzyme protease and rna digesting enzyme rna did not affect uh, transformation so the transforming substance was not a protein or rna digestion with dna did inhibit transformation suggesting that the dna cause the transformation they conclude that dna is the hereditary material but not all biologists was convinced can you think of any difference between dna and rna dna's the genetic materials is dna the anecdotal proof that dna is the genetic material came from the experiment of alfred hasse and martha chase 1952 they worked with virus that infect bacteria called bacteriophage the bacteriophage attach to the bacteria and it genetic material then enter the bacteria cell the bacteria cell treat the viral genetic material as it is it was its own and subsequently manufacture more virus particles also and chase what to discover whether it was protein or dna from the viruses that enter the bacteria they grew some viruses on a medium that contained radioactive phosphorus and some other on medium that contained radioactive sulfur viruses grown in the presence of radioactive phosphorus contained radioactive dna but not radioactive protein because dna contains phosphorus but protein does not similarly virus grown on radioactive sulfur contain radioactive protein but not radioactive dna because dna does not contain sulfur radioactive phage were allowed to attach to e coli bacteria then as the infection proceed the viral code were removed from the bacteria by agitating them in a blender the virus particle were separated from the bacteria by spinning them in a centrifuge bacteria which were infected with virus that had radioactive dna were radioactive indicating that dna was the material that passed from the virus to the bacteria bacteria that were infected with virus that had radioactive proteins were not radioactive this indicate that proteins did not enter the bacteria from viruses DNA is therefore the genetic material that is passed from virus to bacteria. Properties of genetic materials DNA versus RNA. From the foregoing discussion, it is clear that the debate between protein virus, protein versus DNA as the genetic material was unequivocally resulted from Hershey's experiment. It became an established fact that it is DNA that acts as the genetic material. However, it subsequently became clear that in some viruses, RNA is the genetic material. For example, tobacco, mosaic virus, QV, bacteriophage, etc. Answer to some of the questions such as why dna is the predominant genetic material whereas rna performs dynamic functions or messenger and adapter has to be found from the difference between chemical structure of the two nucleic acid molecules can you recall the two chemical differences between dna and rna a molecule that can act as a genetic material must fulfill the following criteria it should be able to generate its replica replication it should be stable chemically and structurally it should be it should provide the scope for slow change mutation that are required for evaluation it should be able to express itself in the form of mendelian characters if 
one example examine each requirement one by one because of rule of base pairing and complementary both the nucleic acid dna and rna have the ability to direct their duplication the other molecules in the living system such as protein fail to fulfill the first criteria itself the genetic material should be stable enough not to change with different stage of life cycle age or with change in physiology of the organism stability as one of the properties of genetic material was very evident in griffith transforming principle itself that hit which killed the bacteria at least did not destroy some of the properties of genetic materials this now can easily be explained in the light of dna that the two strands being complementary if separated by heating come together when appropriate condition are provided for the two dash oh group present at every nucleotide in rna is the radioactive group and makes rna liable and easily degradable rna is also now known to be catalytic hence radioactive therefore dna chemically is less radioactive and structurally more stable when compared to rna therefore among the two nucleic acid the dna is a better genetic material in fact the presence of thymine thymine at the place of uracil also confer additional stability of dna detailed discussion about this requires understanding of the process of repair in dna and you will study this the process in higher classes both dna and rna are able to mutate in fact rna being unstable mutate at a first edit consequently viruses having rna genome and having shorter life span mutate and evolve faster rna can directly code for synthesis of protein hence can easily express the character dna however is dependent on rna for synthesis of protein the protein synthesizing mechanism has evolved around rna the above discussion indicates that both rna and dna can function as genetic material but dna being more stable is preferred to storage of genetic information for the transmission of genetic information rna is better rna world from foregoing discussion an immediate question become evident which is the first genetic materials it shall be discussed in details in the chapter on the chemical evolution but briefly we shall highlight some of the facts and points rna was the first genetic material there is no enough evidence to suggest that essential life process such as metabolism translation splicing etc evolved around rna rna used to act as genetic material as well as a catalyst there are some important biochemical reaction in living system that are catalyzed by rna catalyzed and not by protein enzyme but rna being a catalyst was reactive and hence unstable therefore dna has evolved from rna with with chemical modification that make it more stable dna being double stranded and having complementary strand further resist changes by evolving a process of repair replication while proposing the double helical structure of dna watson and crick had immediately proposed a scheme for replication of dna to quote their original statement that is as follows it has not escaped our notice that the specific pairing we have postulated immediately suggest a possible copying mechanism for the genetic material version 3 1953 the scheme suggests that the two strands would separate and act as a template for synthesis of new complementary strands after the completion of the replication each dna molecule would have one parental and one newly synthesized strand this scheme was termed as semi conservative dna replication the experimental proof it is now proven that dna replicates semi 
converts um, consecutively. It was shown first in Hysteria coli and subsequently in higher organisms such as plant. Add human cell, Matthew, Mesalon, Mesalon, and Franklin Staffel performed the following experiment in 1958. One, they gave E. coli in a medium containing ammonium chloride. Tripping N is a heavy isotope of nitrogen as the only nitrogen source for many generations. The result was that tritinium was incorporated into newly synthesized DNA as well as other nitrogen containing compounds. These heavy DNA molecules could be distinguished from the normal DNA synthesization in a potassium chloride dense, uh, density gradient. Please note that tritinium is not a radioactive isotope and it, is, it can be separated from tritinium only based on densities. Two, then they transferred the cell into a medium with normal sodium uh, ammonium chloride and took sample at various definite time interval as the cell multiplied and extracted the DNA that remained as the double standard helix. The various sample were separated independently on sodium chloride gradient to measure the densities of the DNA. Can you recall what centrifugal force is and think why a molecule with a higher mass or density would sediment faster? <coughs> the results are shown in figure. Three, thus the DNA was uh, the DNA that was extracted from the culture one generation after the transfer from 15N to 14N medium that is after 20 minutes equally divided in 20 minutes had a hybrid or intermediate density. DNA extracted from the culture after another generation that is after 40 minutes second generation was composed of equal amount of the is hybrid DNA and of light DNA. If equally was allowed to grow for 80 minutes then what would be the proportion of light and hybrid density in DNA molecules? Very similar experiment involving use of radioactive thiamidine to detect distribution of newly synthesized DNA in a, the chromosome was performed on Vicia fiber, fiber beams by Taylors and colleagues in 1958. The experiments proved that the DNA is chromosome also replicate semiconverts conservatively. The machinery and the enzymes. In the living cell such as E. coli, the process of application requires a set of catalyzed enzymes. The main enzyme is referred to as DNA dependent polymerase. DNA polymerase. Since it is used uses a DNA template to catalyze the polymerization of deoxynucleotides. These enzymes are highly efficient enzymes as they have to catalyze polymerization of a large number of nucleotides in a very short time. Equally, that was only 4.6 semiconductors dp compared with, with human whose deployed content is 6.6 in the 9 dp. Complete the process of replication within 18 minutes. That means the average rate of polymerization has to be approximately 2000 BP per second. Not only do these polymerase have to be fast, but they also have to catalyze the reaction with high degree of accuracy. Any mistake during the application would result into mutation. Furthermore, energetically replication is a very expensive process. Deoxyribonucleosides, triphosphate serve as uh, dual purposes. In addition to acting as substrate, they provide energy for polymerization reaction. The two terminal phosphate in a deoxynucleoside triphosphate are high energy phosphate, same as in the case of ATP. In addition to DNA dependent DNA polymerase, many additional enzymes are required to complete the process of replication with high degree of accuracy. 
for long DNA molecules since the two strands of DNA cannot be separated in the entire length due to very high energy requirement. The replication occurs within, in within a small opening of the DNA helix referred to as replication part. The DNA dependent DNA polymerase catalyzes polymerization only in one direction that is 5 dash to 3 dash. This creates some additional complication at the, same, at the replicating part. Consequently, on one stand, the template with polarity 3 dash to 5 dash, the replication is continuous, while on the other, the template with polarity 5 dash to 3 dash, it is discontinuous. That is, continuously synthesized fragment fragments are later joined by the enzyme DNA ligase. The DNA polymerase on their own cannot initiate the process of replication. Also, the replication does not initiate randomly at any place of the DNA. There is a definite region in E. coli DNA where the replication originates. Such regions are termed as origin of replication. Because of the requirement of the origin of replication that a species, species of DNA is needed to be propagated during recombinant DNA procedures. Required a vector. The vector provides the origin of replication. Further, not every detail of replication is understood well. In eukaryotes, the replication of DNA takes place at a shape of the cell cycle. The replication of DNA and cell division cycle should be highly coordinated. A failure in cell division after DNA replication results into polyploidy, a chromosomal anomaly. You will learn the detailed nature of origin and the process occurring at this site in higher classes. Transcription The process of copying genetic information from one strand of the DNA into RNA is termed as transcription. Here also, the principle of complementary govern the process of transcription, except the adenosine complements now form base pair with uracil instead of thiamine. However, unlike in the process of replication, which one set in the total DNA of an organism get duplicated in transcription, only a segment of DNA and only one of the strands is copied into RNA. This necessitates defining the boundaries that would demarc demarcate demarc the origin, uh, the region, and the strand of DNA that would be transcribed. Why both the Strands are not copied during transcription has the simple answer. First, if both strands act as a template, they would code for RNA molecule with different sequence. Remember, complementary T does not mean identical. And in turn, if they code for proteins, the sequence of amino acid in the protein would be different. Hence, one segment of the DNA would be coding for two different proteins and this would complicate the genetic information transformation machinery. Second, the two RNA molecules if produced simultaneously would be complementary to each other, hence would form a double standard RNA. This would prevent RNA from being translated into protein and the exercise of transcription would become a futile one. Transcription unit. A transcription unit in DNA is defined primarily by the three regions in the DNA. A promoter to the structural gene three a terminator. There is a convention in defining the two strands of the DNA in the structural gene of transcription unit. Since the two strands have opposite polarity and the DNA-dependent RNA polymerase, 
also catalyze the polymerization in only one direction that is 5 dash to 3 dash the stand that has the polar polarity 3 dash to 5 dash act as a template and is also referred to as template strand the other strand which has the polarity 5 dash to 3 dash and the sequence same as RNA except thiamine at the place of uracy is displaced during transcription. Strangely, strangely, this strand which does not code for anything is referred to as coding strand. All the reference point while the refining a transcription unit is made with coding strand. To explain the point, a hypothetical sequence from a transcription unit is presented below. 3 dash A T G C A T G C A T G C A T G C A T G C A T G C 5 dash template strand. 5 dash T A C G T A C G T A C G T A C G T A C G T A C G G 3 dash coding strand. Can you <coughs> now write the sequence of RNA transcript, transcript from the above DNA? The promoter and terminator flank the structural gene in a transcription unit. The promoter is said to be located towards 5 dash and upstream of the structural gene. The reference is made with respect to the polarity of coding strand. It is a DNA sequence that provides binding site for RNA polymerase and it is the presence of promoter in a transcription unit that also defines the template and coding strand. By switching its position with terminator, the, definition, the definition of coding and template strands could be reversed. The terminator is located towards 3 dash end downstream of the coding strand and it usually defines the end of the process of transcription. There are additional regularity sequences that may be present further upstream or downstream to the promoter. Some of the properties of the sequence shall be described, discussed while dealing with regulation of gene expression. Transcription unit and the gene. A gene is defined as the functional unit of inheritance. Though there is no ambiguity that genes are located on the DNA, it is difficult to literally define a gene in terms of DNA sequence. The DNA sequence coding for tRNA or rRNA molecule also defines a gene. However, by defining a system as a segment of DNA coding for a polypeptide, the structural gene in a transcription unit could be said as monosystonic, mostly in eukaryotes, or polysystonic, mostly in bacteria or prokaryotes. In eukaryotes, the monosystonic structural gene has interrupted coding sequence. The gene in eukaryotes are split. The coding sequence or expressed sequence are defined as action. Action are said to be those sequences that appear in mature or processed RNA. The actions are interrupted by introns. Introns or intervening sequence do not appear in matter, mature or processed RNA. The split gene arrangement further complicate, uh, completes the definition of a gene in terms of a DNA segment. Inheritance of a character is also affected by promoter and regulatory sequence of a structural gene. Hence, sometimes the regulatory sequence are loosely defined as regulatory gene even though these sequence do not code for any RNA or protein. Types of RNA and the process of transcription. <coughs> In bacteria, there are three major types of RNAs, mRNAs, messenger RNAs, tRNA transfer RNAs and rRNA ribosomal RNA. 
all three RNAs are needed to synthesize a protein in a cell. The mRNA provides the template, tRNA brings amino acid and reads the genetic code and rRNAs play structural and catalytic role during translation. There is a single DNA dependent RNA polymerase that catalyzes transcription of all type of RNA in bacteria. RNA polymerase bind to promoter and initiates transcription initiation. It uses more nucleoside triphosphate as substrate. And polymerizes in a template dependent fashion, dependent fashion followed the rule of complementarity. It somehow also facilitated opening of the helix and the continued elongation. Only a short stage of RNA remains bound to the enzyme. Once the polymerase reaches the terminator region, that nascent RNA fall off. So also the RNA polymerase this result in termination of transcription and intriguing going questions is that how is the RNA polymerase able to catalyze all the three steps which are initiation, elongation and termination. The RNA polymerase is only capable of catalyzing the process of elongation. It associates trans Generally, with initiation factor sigma and termination factor rho to initiate the terminate the transcription respectively. Association with this factor alters the specificity of the RNA polymerase to either initiate or terminate. In bacteria, since the mRNA does not require any processing to become active and also since the transcription and translation take place in the same complete compartment there is no separation of uh, cytosol and nucleus in bacteria many times the translation can begin much before the mrna is fully transcribed consequently the transcription and translation can be coupled in bacteria in eukaryotes there are Two additional complexities. One, there are a, there are at least three RNA polymerases in the nucleus. In addition to the RNA polymerase found in the organella, there is a clear cut division of labor. The RNA polymerase one transcribed rRNAs. Twenty eight S, eighteen S, and five point eight S. Whereas the RNA polymerase C is responsible for transcription of tRNA, five srRNA, and snRNAs, small nuclear RNAs. The <coughs> RNA polymerase to transcribe precursor of mRNA. The heterogeneous nucleus RNA, HNRNA. Two, the second complexity is that the primary transcription contain both the exon and the intron and are non-functional. Hence, it is subject to process called splicing where the introns are removed and exon are joined in a defined order. HNRNA undergo additional processing called as cap capping and tailing. In capping and anergial nucleotide methyl buconosine triphosphate is added to the 5 base end of HNRNA. In trailing, in trailing adenylate, adenylate residue 200 to 300 are added to add three percent in a template independent manner. It is the fully processed HNRNA, now called mRNA, that is transported out of the nucleus for translation. The significance of such complexities is now beginning 
to be understood. The split gene arrangement represents probably an ancient feature of the genome. The presence of introns is reminiscent of antiquity. And the process of splicing represents the dominance of RNA world. In recent times, the understanding of RNA and RNA-dependent processes in the living system have assumed more importance. Genetic code. During replication and transcription, a nucleic acid was copied, from, copied to form another nucleic acid. Hence, these processes are easy to conceptualize on the basis of complementarity. The process of translation requires transfer of genetic information from a polymer of nucleotides to synthesizes a polymer of amino acid. Neither does any complementarity exist between nucleotide and amino acid, nor could any be drawn theoretically. There exists ample evidence, though, to support the notion that change in nucleic acid genetic material were responsible for change in amino acid in protein. This led to, be, to the proposition of a genetic code that could direct the sequence of amino acid during synthesis of protein. If determining the biochemical nature of genetic material and the structure of DNA was very exciting, the proposition and deciphering of genetic code were most challenging in a very true sense. It required involvement of scientists from several disciplines, physicists, organic chemists, biochemists, and geneticists. It was George Gamow, a physicist, who argued that since there are only four bases and if they have to quote for 20 amino acids, the quote should, be, should constitute a combination of bases. She suggests that in order to quote for all the 20 amino acids, the quote should be made up of three nucleotides. This was a very bold proposition because a permutation combination of 4 to the 4 into 4 into 4 would generate 64 codons, generating many more codons than required, providing proof that the codon was a triplet was a more daunting task. The chemical method developed by Harigurinda Khorana was instrumental in synthesizing RNA molecules with defining combination of bases among polymers and copolymer. Marshall Nirenbach cell free system for protein synthesis finally helped the code to be Desifold Sevaro Okao enzyme polynucleotide phosphorylase was also helpful in polymerizing RNA with defined sequence in a template in independent manner. Enzymatic synthesis of RNA. Finally, a checker broad uh, for genetic code was prepared which is given in table. The salient feature of genetic codes are as follows. One, the codon triplet, 61 codon code for amino acid and three codons do not code for any amino acid, hence they function as stop codon. So some amino acids are coded by more than one codon, hence the code is degenerate. Three, the codon is read in mRNA in a continuous, continuous fashion, there are no punctuation. Four, the code is nearly universal. For example, from bacteria to human, you, you, you would code for phenylalanine. Some exception of this rule have been found in mitochondrial codon and in some protozoans. 5. AUG has dual function. It codes for 
methionine met and it also act as initiator initiator codon six u a a u a g u g a a uh, stop terminator codon the following is the sequence of nucleotide in mrna predict the sequence of amino acid coded by it take help of the checkboard a u g u u u u u c u u c u u u u u u u u c now try the opposite following is the sequence of amino acid coded by an mrna predict the nucleotide sequence in the rna met fe 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 do you face any difficulty in predicting the opposite can you now correlate which now properties of genetic code you have learned mutation and genetic code the relationship between genes and dna are the are best understood by mutation studies you have studied about mutation and its effect in chapter 5 effect of large deletion and rearrangement in a segment of dna are easy to co- comprehend it may result in loss of or again of a gene of uh, or gain of a gene and so a function the effect of point mutation will be explained here a classical example a uh, point mutation is a change of single base pair in the gene for beta globin chain that result in the chain of amino acid residue glutamate to valine it result into a disease condition called a sickle cell anemia effect of pro- point mutation that insert or deletes a base in structural gene can be better understood by following simple example consider a statement that is made up of the following words each having three letters like genetic code r a m h a h r e d c a p if we insert a letter b in between h a s and r e d the rearrangement of the statement it would read as follow ram uh, ram has b r e d a c a p d c a d c a p similarly if we now insert two letter at the same place by b i now it would read as ram has b i r e d c a p now if we insert three letter together say b i g the statement would read as ram has big red cap the same exercise can be repeated by deleting letter r e d and d one by one and rearranging the statement to make a triplet word ram has e d c a p ram has d c a p ram has cap the conclusion from the above exercise is very obvious insertion or deletion of one or two bases changes the reading frame from the point of insertion or deletion however such mutation are referred to as first frame set insertion or deletion mutation insertion or deletion of three or its multiple bases insert or delete in one or multiple codon hence one or multiple amino acid and reading frame remain unaltered from that point onwards tRNA the adapter molecule from the very beginning of the proposition of code it was clear to francis crick that there has to be a mechanism to read the code and also to link it to the amino acid because amino acid have no structural specialities to read the code uniquely the postulate stated the presence of an adapter molecule that would on one hand read the code and on other hand would 
bind to specific amino acid the tRNA then called srna soluble rna was known before the genetic code was postulated however its role as an adapter molecule was assigned much later tRNA has an anticodon loop that has bases complementary to the code and it also has an amino acid acceptor end to end to which it binds to amino acid tRNAs are specific for each amino acid for initiation there is another specific tRNA that is referred to as initiator initiator tRNA there are no tRNA for stop codon in figure the secondary structure of tRNA has been depicted that look like a clover leaf in actual structure the tRNA is compact molecule which looks like inverted l translation translation refer to the process of polymerization of amino acid to form a polypeptide the order and sequence of amino acid are defined by the sequence of bases in mrna the amino acid are joined by a bond which is known as peptide bond formation of a peptide bond requires energy therefore in the first phase itself amino acid are activated in the presence of atp and linked to their cognate tRNA a process commonly called as uh, charging of tRNA or amino acylation of tRNA to be more specific if two such charged tRNAs are brought close enough the formation of peptide bond between them would be favored energetically the presence of a catalyst would enhance the rate of peptide bond formation the cellular factory responsible for synthesizing protein is the ribosome the ribosome consists of structural rnas and about 80 different proteins in its inactivated state it exists as two subunit a large subunit and a small subunit when the small subunit encounter an mrna the process of translation of mrna to protein begins there are two sites in the large uh, subunit for subsequent amino acid to bind to and and to and thus be close enough to each other for formation of a peptide bond the ribosome also act as a catalyst 23 srna in bacteria is the enzyme ribosome for formation of peptide bond the translation unit in mrna is the sequence of rna that is flanked by the start codon aug and the stop codon and code for a polypeptide and mrna also has some additional sequences that are not translated and are referred as untranslated region utr the utr are present at both 5 and 10 before start codon and at 3 days in after stop codon they are required for efficient translation process for initiation the ribosome bind to the mrna at the start codon aug that is recognized only by the initiator tRNA the ribosome proceed to the elongation phase of the protein synthesis during this stage complex compose of an amino acid linked to tRNA subsequently bind the appropriate codon in mrna by forming complementary base pair with the tRNA anticodon the ribosome move from codon to codon along the mrna amino acid are added by one by one translated into polypeptide sequence dictated by dna and represented by mrna at the end a release factor bind to the stop codon terminating translation and releasing the complete 
polypeptide from the ribosome. Regulation of gene expression. Regulation of gene expression refers to a very broad term that may occur at various levels considering that the that gene expression result in the formation of polypeptide, it can be regulated at several levels. In eukaryotes, the regulation could be exerted at one transcriptional level formation of primary transcript to processing level regulation or splicing. See transport of mRNA from nucleus to the cytoplasm. For <coughs> the gene in a cell are expressed to perform a particular function or a set of functions. For example, if an enzyme called beta galactosidase is synthesized by E. coli, it is used to catalyze the hydrolysis of a disaccharide lactose into the lactose and glucose. The bacteria use them as a source of energy. Hence, if the bacteria do not have lactose around them to be utilized for energy source, they would no longer require the synthesis of the enzyme beta galactosidase. Therefore, in simple terms, it is metabolic, physiological, or environmental condition, conditions that regulate the expression of genes. The development and differentiation of embryo into adult organism are also a result of coordinated regulation of expression of several sets of genes. In prokaryotes, control of the rate of transcriptional initiation is the predominant site for control of gene expression. In a transcription unit, the activity of RNA polymerase at a given promoter in, is in turn regulated by interaction with accessory proteins, which affect its ability to recognize start site regulated by interaction with accessory protein, which affect its ability to recognize start site. These regulatory proteins can act both positively activators and negatively repressor. The accessibility of promoter region of the prokaryotic DNA is uh, in, in many cases regulated by the interaction of proteins with sequence termed operators. The operator region is adjacent to the promoter element in most of op operands and in most cases the sequence of the operator bind a repressor protein. Each operand has its specific operator and specific repressor. For example, lag operator is present only in lag operand and it interacts specifically with lag repressor only. Lag operand the elucidation of the lag operand was also a, a result of a close association between a geneticist Frankois Jacob and a biochemist Jack Modern Monot. They were the first to elucidate a transcriptionally regulated system. In lag operand, here lag referred to lactose. A, Polycystonic structural gene is regulated by a common promoter and regulatory gene. Such arrangement is very common in bacteria and is referred to as operon. To name few such examples, lag operon, TRP operon, RA operon, his operon, HAL operon, etc. The lag operon consists of one regulatory gene, the I gene here, the term I does not refer to inhibitor, rather it is derived from the word inhibitor. And three structural genes, Z, Y and A. The I gene codes for the repressor of the lag operon, the Z gene code for beta galactosidase, beta gal, which is primarily responsible for hydrolysis of the disaccharide lactose into its 
monomeric units galactose and glucose the y gene code for permeage which increases permeability of the cell to beta galactoside is the a gene encodes a trans acylitase hence all the c genes produce product in leg operon are required for metabolism of lactose in most other operon as well the genes present in the operon are needed together to function in the same or related metabolic pathway lactose is the substrate for the enzyme beta galactosidase and it regular switching on and of on operon hence it is termed as inducer in the absence of a preferred carbon source such as glucose if lactose is provided in the growth medium of bacteria the lactose is transported into the cell through the action of permeage remember a very low level of expression of lac operon has to be present in the cell all the time otherwise lactose cannot enter the cell the lactose then induces the operon in the following manner the repressor of the operon is synthesized all the time constitutively from the ion the repressor protein binds to the operator region of the operon and prevent rna polymerase from transcribing the operon in the presence of an um, inducer such as lactose or allo lactose the repressor is inactivated by interact interaction with the inducer this allows rna polymerase access to the promoter and transcription proceed Essentially, regulation of leg operon can also be visualized as regulation of enzyme synthesis by its substrate. Remember, glucose or galactose cannot act as inducer for leg operon. Can you think for how long the leg operon would be expressed in the presence of lactose? Regulation of leg operon by Repressor is referred to as negative regulation. Leg operon is under control of positive regulation as well, but it is beyond the scope of discussion at this level. Human genome project. In the preceding section, you have learned that it is a sequence of bases in DNA that determine the genetic information of a given organism. In other words, genetic. makeup of an organism or an individual lies in the dna sequence if two individual differ then their dna sequence should also be different at least at some places this assumption led to the quest of finding out the complete dna sequence of human genome with the establishment of genetic engineering techniques where it was possible to isolate and clone any piece of dna and availability of simple and fast technique for determining dna sequences a very ambitious project of sequencing human genome was launched in the year 1990 human genome project hgp was called a mega project you can imagine the magnitude and requirement for the project If we simply define the aim of the project as follows: Human genome is said to have approximately 3 to 10 to the 9 bp, and if the cost of sequencing required is US dollar C per bp, the estimated cost in the beginning, the total estimated cost of the project would be approximately 9 billion US dollar. Further, if the of Obtained sequences were to be stored in typed form, form in books, and each page, if each page of the book contain a hundred letters, and each book contain hundred thousand letter and thousand pages, then three 
1300 such book would be required to store the information of DNA sequences from a single human cell. The enormous amount of data expected to be generated also necessitated the use of high speed computational device for the data storage and retrieval analysis. AGB was closely associated with the rapid development of a new area in biology called bioinformatics. Goal of AGP. Some of the important goals of the AGP were as follows. One, identify all approximately 20,000 to 25,000 genes in human DNA. Two, determine the sequence of you know, the 3 billion chemical base pair that make up human DNA. Three, store this information in database. Four, improve tool for data analysis. Five, transfer related technology to the other sectors such as industries. Six, address the ethical, legal, and social issues (ELSI) that may arise from the project. The Human Genome Project was a 13 year project coordinated by the US Department of Energy and National Institute of Health. During the early years of HGP, the Wellcome Trust UK became a major partner. Additional contribution came from Japan, France, Germany, China and others. The project was completed in 2003. Knowledge about the effect of DNA variation among individuals can lead to revolutionary new way to diagnose, treat and someday prevent the thousand of disorders that affect human beings. Besides providing clue to understanding human biology, learning about non-human organisms, DNA sequences can lead to an understanding of their natural capabilities that can be applied towards solving challenges in healthcare agriculture, energy production, environmental remediation, many non-human model organisms such as bacteria, yeast, canario, diabetes, allergens, the free living non-pathogenic nematode, drosophilia, the fruit fly, plant, rice and arrow, bidope, cheese, etc. have also been sequenced. Methodologies. The method involved two major approaches. One approach focused on identifying all the genes that are expressed as RNA referred to as expressed sequencing tag HSTs. The other two, the blind approach of simply sequencing the whole set of genomes that contain all the coding and non-coding sequences. The latter assignment, assigning different region in the sequence with functions, a term referred to as sequence annotation. For sequencing, the total DNA from a cell is isolated and converted into random fragment of relatively smaller size. Recall, DNA is a very long polymer and there are technical limitations in sequencing very long piece of DNA and cloned in suitable host using specialized vector, the cloning resulted into amplification of each piece of DNA fragment so that it subsequently could be sequenced with ease. The commonly used host were bacteria and yeast and the vector were called BAC, bacterial artificial chromosome and YAC, yeast artificial chromosomes. The fragments were sequenced using automated DNA sequencer that worked on the principle of method developed by Frederick Sanger. Remember Sanger is also credited for developing method for determination of amino acid sequence in proteins. These sequences were then arranged based on some overlapping region present in them. This required gen generation of overlapping fragments for sequencing. Alignment of these sequences was humanly not possible. Therefore, specialized computer-based programs were developed. These sequences were subsequently annotated and were assigned to each chromosome. The sequence of chromosome 1 was completely only in May 2006. <coughs> this was the last of the 24 human chromosomes, 22 autosomes, 
and you try to be sequenced. Another challenging task was assigning the genetic and physical maps on the genome. This was generated using information on polymorphism of restriction, endonuclease recognition site, and some repetitive DNA sequencing known as microsatellites. One of the application of polymorphism in repetitive DNA sequences shall be explained in next section of DNA fingerprinting. Silent feature of human genome. Some of the silent observations drawn from human genome project are as follows. One, the human genome contains 3164.7 million BP. Two, the average gene consists of 3000 bases, but size varies greatly with the largest known human gene being dystrophin at 2.4 million bases. 3. The total number of genes is estimated at 30,000, much lower than TBI estimated 80,000 to 1,40,000 genes. Almost all 99.9% nucleotide base are exactly the same in all people. 4. The function are, known, uh, function are unknown for over 50% of the discovered genes. 5. Less than 2% of the genome code for protein. 6. Repeated sequence make up very large portion of the human genome. 7. Repetitive sequences are stretch of DNA sequences that are repeated many times, sometimes 100 to 1000 times. They are thought to have no direct coding function. But they shed light on chromosome structure, dynamics, and evolution. 8. Chromosome 1 has most genes 2968 and Y has the fewest 131. 9. Scientists have identified about 1.4 million locations where single base DNA defines SNP single nucleotide polymorphism, pronounced as NIPS occurs in humans. This information promises to revolutionize the process of finding chromosomal location for disease-associated disease sequencing and tracking human history. Application and future challenges. Deriving meaningful knowledge from the DNA sequences will define research through the coming decades leading to our understanding of biological system. These enormous tasks will require the expertise and creativity of tens of thousands of scientists from varied disciplines in both the public and private sector worldwide. One of the greatest impact of having the AG sequence may well be enabling a radically new approach to biological research. In the first researcher studied one or few genes at a time with whole genome sequence, the new high throughput technologies, we can approach questions systematically and on much dollar scale. They can study all the genes in a genome, for example, all transcript in a particular tissue or organ or tumor or how tens of thousands of genes and proteins work together in interconnected network to orchestrate the chemistry of life. DNA fingerprinting. As stated in the preceding section, 99 point, preceding section 99.9 percent of base sequence among human is the same. Assuming human genome as 3 into 10 to the 9 BP, in how many base sequences would be differences? It is these differences in sequence of DNA which make very individual, make every individual unique in their phenotypic appearance. If one aims to find out genetic differences between two individuals or among individuals of a population, sequencing of DNA every time would be a daunting and expensive task. Imagine trying to compare two set of 3 to 10 to the 6 base pair. The DNA fingerprinting is a very quick way to compare the DNA sequencing of any two individuals. DNA fingerprinting involves 
identifying differences in some specific region of DNA sequencing called as repetitive DNA. Because in this sequence a small stage of DNA is repeated many times. These repetitive DNA are separated from bulk genomic DNA as different peak during density gradient centrifugation. The bulk DNA form form a major peak and the other small peak are referred to as satellite DNA. Depending on the base composition, a T rich or G C rich. Length of segments length of segment and number of repetitive units. The satellite DNA is classified into many categories such as micro satellite, mini satellite, etc. These sequences normally do not code for any proteins but they form a large proportion of human genome. These sequences show how high degree of polymorphism and form the basis of DNA fingerprinting. Since DNA from every tissue such as blood, hair, follicle, skin, bone, saliva, sperm, etc. From an individual show that the same degree of polymorphism, they become very useful identification tool for forensic application. Further, as the polymorphism are inheritable from parents to children, DNA fingerprinting is the basis of paternity testing in case of disputes. As polymorphism in DNA sequences is the basis for genetic mapping of human genome as well as of DNA fingerprinting, it is essential that we understand that DNA polymorphism means in simple terms. Polymorphism variation at genetic level arises due to mutation. Recall different kind of mutation and their effect that you have already studied in chapter 5 and the preceding section in this chapter. New mutation may arise in an individual either in somatic cell or in the germ cell cells that generate gametes in sexually reproduced organism. If a germ cell mutation does not seriously impair individuals ability to have offspring who can transmit the mutation, it can spread to the other member of population through sexual reproduction. Allelic Again, recall the definition of allele from chapter 5. Sequences variation has traditionally been described as DNA polymorphism. If more than one variant allele at a locus occur in human population with a frequency greater than 0 0.01, in simple terms, if an inheritable mutation is observed in a population at high frequency, it is referred to as DNA polymorphism. The probability of such variation to be observed in non-coding DNA sequences would be higher as mutation in the, sequence, in the sequences may not have any immediate effect or impact in an individual's reproductive ability. These mutations keep on accumulating generation after generation. The form of these basis of variability or polymorphism there is a variety of different types of polymorphism ranging from single nucleoside type changes to very large scale changes. For evolution and specialization, such polymorphism play a very important role, and you will study these detail in detail at the higher classes. The techniques of DNA fingerprinting was initially developed by Eric Jeffries. He used a satellite DNA as probe that showed very high degree of polymorphism. It, is, it was called a variable number of tanda, ta, tandem repeated vein tier. The technique as used earlier involved southern blood hybridization using a radio labeled vein tier as a probe. It included one Isolation of DNA to digestion of DNA by restriction in the nucleases. Three, separation of DNA fragments by electrophoresis. Four, transferring, blotting or spread separated DNA fragments to synthetic member, synthetic membranes such as 
nucleo nitro cellulose or nylon high hybridization yielding level gene tear probe and six detection of hybridized dna fragments by auto uh, radiography uh, schematic representation of dna fingerprinting is shown in figure the dna tear belonging belongs to a class of satellite dna referred to as mini satellite a small dna sequence is arranged tandemly in mini copy number the copy number varies from chromosome to chromosome in an individual the number of repeated repeat show very high degree of polymorphism as a result the size of dntr varies in size from 0.1 to 20 kb consequently after hybridization with dntr probe the auto radiogram gives many band of differing size this band give a characteristic pattern for an individual dna it differs from individual to individual in a population except in this case of monozygotic identical twins the sensitivity of the technique has been increased by use of polymerase chain reaction pcr we will study out it in chapter 11 consequently the dna from a single cell is enough to perform dna fingerprinting analysis in addition to application in forensic Science it has much wider applications such as determining population and genetic diversities. Currently, many different probes are used to generate DNA fingerprint.